Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. Five college players hospitalized, three games postponed. So what's next for the future of Concordia University Chicago's basketball program? Parents say they'll find out in just a couple of hours. Our Sarah Maki has new details now on a story we first broke here on CBS2 Friday. She's live at the campus in River Forest. Sarah? Yeah, we're told the athletic director is going to be holding a Zoom update at 7 o'clock today for players and for their family members. Now, they're not sure exactly what to expect, but at least some are throwing their support behind their head coach who was sidelined while the school investigates accusations that he may have held a retaliatory practice after some players missed their team curfew. It is the first day of class for Concordia University Chicago students, but one corner of the campus is still quiet the basketball court. It has been one week since the first of five Concordia Cougars was hospitalized, a group that includes senior guard Brett Hatton. His diagnosis, lactic acidosis and rhabdomyolysis, often attributed to physical overexertion. Brett loves the players and the program, so we'll just have to have to wait and see. We reached Hatton's dad by phone Monday. Alan Hatton told us he is waiting for an update from school leaders, but he has heard from other parents. All the parents that I've talked to are and players are, are still uh, behind the coach. We reached head coach Steve Kohler at his home, which appears under construction, when we first heard of the allegations Thursday. Concerns acknowledged in an email to parents that night. Quote, amid the already stressful and exhausting week, Saturday's practice represented a particularly high-intensity collegiate-level circuit training. It has been alleged by some that the intensity and difficulty of Saturday's practice was a direct consequence of the broken curfew earlier in the week. Hatton says his son was healing from an injury the last time they took the court, December 29th, in the Los Angeles area, and now he waits to find out if it is the last time his son plays for Coach Kohler. It's been great. I mean, he's been good, good to us every time we're there. I mean, he he, he comes and speaks to, to us. We have a we have a very good relationship. About an hour ago, a call from Concordia staff. They said they would give us an update after they're able to brief their students and their players. We also heard from Concordia's conference, who says that they haven't decided yet how they're going to handle any postponed games. And on that, Concordia has now postponed a third game, which was supposed to happen here tomorrow night. Reporting in River Forest, Sarah Maki, CBS2 News. We'll see what happens next, Sarah. Thank you.